Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you some cool tips and tricks for Galaxy S21 FE. Samsung has recently launched this device with some powerful specifications. I've been using this device for quite some time and I would like to share some useful tips and tricks about this device. Galaxy smartphones are feature rich. I think Samsung always includes a lot of feature, a lot of cool features, which is difficult to find in any other smartphone. But I would try my best to cover all the important features of this smartphone. Galaxy S21 is running Android 12 based on One UI 4.0. With One UI 4.0, Samsung has bought some new features. So let's find out more about them, but before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Let's start from the lock screen first. You get two options. The first option is to dial an emergency number without unlocking your device. And the second option is to use camera from your lock screen. You can take a picture, you can review the picture, but you can't get inside the gallery. You have the always on display. You can also enable these cool wallpapers. To do so, unlock the screen, go to wallpaper, click on lock screen wallpaper. And here you have dynamic lock screen or Samsung Global Goals. When you choose the option dynamic lock screen, you can click on the right side. You get all these bunch of options. You can choose landscape, art, food, desert. You can download some animal wallpapers. And after downloading, you can choose your favorite one. For example, I have chosen landscape, art, food, desert. So once you choose that, when you go to the lock screen, since I have downloaded the animal wallpaper recently, you can see it will keep changing will keep updating also if you choose the second option which is the Samsung global goals click on the right side so you'll get these options goal number one no poverty this is like a small feed this is something new these are the goals no poverty zero hunger quality education so once you choose Samsung global goal option when you go to your lock screen so here you can see you have the quality education, global goal number phone. You can see good health and well-being. These are the beautiful wallpapers. Again, something new which I have not seen in any other smartphone. And if you don't like any of these options to save your battery life, you can click on none. Also, when you click over here, you have the Galaxy themes. You can download more wallpapers from here. But for that, you need to have a Samsung account. There is another cool feature in your camera setting. When you open your camera and take any picture, you go to gallery for example let's choose this picture now samsung is giving you a cool feature of removing any object from the picture even after taking the picture just like google pixel 6 so after taking the picture click on this pen icon and now click on this three dot menu and here is the option of object eraser click over here now suppose i would like to remove the cup from this picture all i need to do is draw a circle and click on erase as you can see like magic the cup has been removed now another cool feature in the camera setting you can record hdr10 videos go to videos click on settings now click on advanced recording options here you have an option of hdr10 plus videos click over here and the good thing is that you can record up to 4k 30 frame per second on your hdr10 plus videos i would say this is a very good feature if you are recording a high quality video the smartphone is capable of doing that and also you have dual recording options so if you're a vlogger, you can have dual recording setting enabled. You can change the setting. You can have the split view setting. Now this can be a great setting, especially for vloggers. Now another important feature, whenever you buy any Galaxy smartphone nowadays, so when you click on the power button, it will take you to Bixby. Now this can be irritating for some people because to turn off your mobile, you need to press your power button and also volume down button. And then you get the power off menu. All you need to do is Go to your navigation. Now click on the shutdown button. And here you have to click on side key settings. Now by default, you have the big Bixby button on. You can turn it off and turn on the power off menu. And also the second option to double press, you have quick launch camera or open any application of your choice. I think I'll keep it as quick launch camera. So now when I want to power off my mobile, I just need to press on the power button and I see the power off menu. And when I double press on the power key, it will take me to the camera application which can be very handy even from the lock screen when you double press you can directly start taking pictures 
The smartphone has 120Hz display which is addictive I would say. Once you start using 120Hz display it's very difficult to go back to 60Hz. But again in case if you're facing battery issues you can click on display setting. Choose the option motion smoothness. Click over here. Now here you get both the options 120Hz is enabled. If you want standard it will take the device to 60Hz. Click on apply. So now you have 60Hz display on. I'll keep it as 120. Also, Samsung is giving you the eye comfort shield. As you can see, the screen has become yellowish. So this is gonna be very good for nighttime reading. And also Samsung is giving you option to change your screen colors. You can choose vivid or natural. In fact, you have the advanced setting option where you can change the white balance. You can change a lot of settings over here. You can also change to cool or warm as you like. Now, another cool feature when you go to about phone, software information, you can see the bill number option. Now click 10 times on this. You will have the developer mode enabled. I have already enabled it. So that's why it's giving me the warning. Developer mode has been enabled. So when you go back just below the about phone, you see developer option. Now if you're doing Android development or any kind of software development, you can click on OEM unlocking. Once you enable that, you can unlock your bootloader and do various things. So this is a hidden menu which you can enable. Now this is very interesting. You have window animation scale. Ideally is set to 1x. So you can see these animations, these slow animation settings. If you want to turn your phone extremely fast, you can just disable it. Animation off, animation off. Now you can see the phone becomes extremely fast. But I do prefer this beautiful animation. So I'll keep it as 1x. So suppose for any point you are feeling that your phone is becoming slow, you can disable them. Another important and cool feature which I'm sure most of you know, to find out if your smartphone is authentic or real or genuine, Samsung has given you an option inside your phone dialer itself. So when you go to the dialer, type on star hash zero star hash, it will take you to this diagnostic menu. If your smartphone does not have this, it means it's not a Samsung genuine device or there is some issues because this is the screen you must get. So here you can also check your screen, your receiver, your vibration motor, camera, your sensors. You can see all the sensors are working properly. Also the touch screen. This is very important because the screen of the Samsung smartphone is equivalent to the price of the smartphone. And Samsung do make some excellent panels. So all the necessary information can be accessed from the menu itself. And if you still doubt about anything, you can always press on star hash zero six hash. It will take you to the IMI information about the phone. You can see the warranty and all the necessary information direct from here. And talking about customization, when you click on widget, it gives you a lot of options. So when you click each option, it will give you a small widget like calendar. You have, I always prefer calendar on my home screen. You have for your contacts, device care. And this is also a good option. So you can clean your memory and also it will keep giving you how much storage left and what is the memory in use. So there are a bunch of widgets which you can use. Even there's a user manual. You also have your smart thing widget. You have Samsung internet, Samsung health widget. So all the important widgets. So by default you have your home screen and also you have the app tray. But if you're coming from an iPhone, you can just change your home screen layout to home screen only, apply. Now it's just like an iPhone, so all your applications, everything is here on your home screen. And on the left, you have the Google feed. You can customize it as per your liking. Now another important feature is an advanced feature option. Click over here. Now here you can see some list of excellent features. You can link the device to Windows, call and text on other devices, continue applications on other Samsung devices, Samsung DeX, Android Auto, Quick Share, One Hand Mode, Game Launcher, Dual Messenger is also a very useful feature. You can have two Facebook account, two WhatsApp account, two Instagram account, and so on. A lot of applications supports this. Also, when you're using the device, the device is idle for 15 seconds. It will automatically turn on. If you are a power user and you don't want that, you want to use the device nonstop, you can go to the display setting. Under display, you have the screen timeout setting and choose the option 10 minutes. So your device will be idle for 10 minutes and it will not switch off. Samsung also gives an easy mode, especially for matured people or your parents, anyone who like to see a clear vision with bigger size of font and bigger size of applications. You click on easy mode, enable easy mode. And as you can see, all the icons, everything is quite large and big. 
Again, it's good for people who has a little bit of vision problem or somebody who is quite mature and like to read everything more bigger fonts and like to see bigger application icons. Another cool feature in the security setting when you have face recognition turned on. So you can choose the option of stay on lock screen until swipe or disable it to directly go to the home screen. So when you choose stay on lock screen until swipe, when you unlock your device, you can see the device is unlocked but still on the lock screen. You need to swipe to go to the home screen. If you disable this option of stay on lock screen until swipe, once you unlock your smartphone, it will directly take you to the home screen. Another cool feature you have in your display setting, click on display. Now click on the navigation bar setting. So here you can use either buttons or the swipe gesture as you use on your iPhone. You can see over here that I have the home button, the back and the multitasking button. But if I want, I can choose the swipe gestures. The button layout has been changed. I can just use swipe. To go back, swipe to the right. To go forward, swipe to the left. To go to the home screen, swipe up. For multitasking, press and hold. In the button layout also, you get two options. One is the back key, the home key, and on the multitasking key. If you don't like this arrangement, you can choose the second option where you have multitasking on the right, home on the center, and the back key on the left. Now this smartphone has a lot more cool features, but it's difficult to cover in one video. So hopefully soon I'll do another video on this smartphone. Also you can click over here to see all the videos I have made on this smartphone, including a camera comparison and unboxing. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I really hope that all the tips which I have shared with you will be useful for you while using this smartphone or any other smartphone using One UI 4.0. If you like this video, kindly give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you all soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye, peace and blessings. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon, so you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.